A voice came from heaven saying, This is my beloved Son, whom, with whom I am well pleased. Our opening in this morning is 406. Guide me, O thou great Jehovah. to be, I don't know where it is. The best place to be is to be in help in someone's prayers. So thank you so much. And uh, please take your bulletins home and read for the announcements. Uh, and let's begin our service. <laughs> The gathering of the community is found on page 185. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also with you. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hidden. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our colic for the day is found. 
found in our bulletin, and we pray together. Eternal Father, whom at the baptism of Jesus revealed him to be your Son, anointing him with the Holy Spirit, keep your children born of water and spirit, faithful to their calling, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. <clears throat> I'd ask the children to please come forward. And, and you know what? 
when I see polar bears, I think God creates so many wonderful animals in this world, and polar bears are just one of those wonderful animals that he created. That's right. Like all the, what other animals does God create? What is your favorite animal? Elephant. Elephant? Elephant, not Cheetah? animals. What's that? Elephant, not animals. Not animals. But my favorite animal is lion. Lion, okay. What about over here? What is your favorite animal? Me. You got an animal. You got an animal. No animal. Nobody likes animals over on this side. Okay. What about you? A monkey. Is, um, is, um, a, um, a kangaroo. A kangaroo. You know, God creates so many wonderful. My favorite animal is my dog, Max. My favorite animal is my dog, Max. Um, I have two. My wife and my Wow. Okay. Put your hands like this. Warm them all up. My favorite animal. Okay, Eric, is your hands warm? Yeah. Okay, stretch them way out. Let's make a great big clap. One, two, three. Oh, that's wonderful. Dear Jesus, thank you for today. Thank you for today. For all our fun. At work and play. Thank you. For all the animals. You created. Polar bear. Nathan. There we go. Oh. <laughs> and you got it too. That's a monkey. Oh, that's awesome. I want to have, have the stick today. You're going to have the stick today? Did you have the bag? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you know what? No, that, uh, I, I think you had the bag, so I think we should point somebody else. Could you grab the stick on that side? Okay. You can have a stick next week. Okay. And you can have it next week. You remind me. <laughs> I bet you they will remind me. <laughs>
The voice of the Lord breaks the cedar trees. The Lord breaks the cedars of Lebanon. The voice of the Lord splits the flames of fire. The voice of the Lord shakes the wilderness. The Lord shakes the wilderness of Kadesh. The voice of the Lord makes the old trees ripe and shakes the forest bare. And in the temple of the Lord, all are crying in glory. The Lord sits in the throne of the flood. The Lord sits in the throne of his king forevermore. The Lord shall give strength to his people. The Lord shall give his people the blessing of peace. Together. God of mystery and power, open our eyes to the flame of your love, and open our ears to the thunder of your justice, that we may receive your gifts of blessing and peace, to the glory of your name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. reading from Acts chapter 19 verses 1 to 7. While Apollos, Apollos was in Corinth, Paul traveled through the interior of the province and arrived in Ephesus. There he found some disciple, disciples and asked them, Did you receive the Holy Spirit when you became believers? We have not even heard that there is a Holy Spirit, they answered. Well, then what kind of baptism did you receive, Paul asked. The, baptism, the baptism of John, they answered. Paul said, the baptism baptism of John was for those who turned from their sins, and he told the people of Israel to believe in the one who was coming after him, that is, in Jesus. When they heard that this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Paul placed his hands on them, and the Holy Spirit came upon them. They spoke in strange tongues and also proclaimed God's message. They were about twelve men in all. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our gradual hymn is 554. Jordan, 
confessing their sins. Now John was clothed with camel's hair, with a leather belt around his waist, and he ate locusts and wild honey. He proclaimed, the one who is more powerful than I is coming after me. I am not worthy to stoop down and I untie the thong of his sandals. I have baptized you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. In those days, Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized by John in the Jordan. And just as he was coming up out of the water, he saw the heavens torn apart and the spirit descending like a dove on him. And a voice came from heaven, you are my son, the beloved. With you, I am well pleased. The Gospel of Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <coughs> Let us pray. Where could I go? Where could I go? Meeking up for my soul. Meeting a friend to help me in the end. Where could I go but to the That was just in me this morning when I was getting up out of bed. I, I, when my feet hit the floor, that song just kind of flooded over me. Where could we go but to the Lord? Our gospel this morning is a beautiful gospel. I, I got to tell you, I, I, when you look at the Word of God, I hope that it leaps off the page sometimes and smacks you clear in the head. And then I hope it drips down right through into the heart. Because sometimes that's the way the, the Word of God impacts us sometimes in such a way that it blesses us. It impacts us. It transforms us. You know, that song today is really fitting because I was thinking all, all week, where should I go? Where should I go? Should I, should I begin at the beginning of this reading, at the beginning of Mark, that, that fulfillment of prophecy, who John the Baptist was, that voice crying in the desert, the messenger that I'll send ahead of you because God made a plan, you see. He made a plan since the fall. He made a plan to restore that relationship with us. And we could spend a lot of time talking about God's plan and how John was a part of God's plan. But we could also go into the actual baptism of Christ. How, how he went and, and was baptized. And I, I just want to create a quick picture for you today. Because they were going to John, confessing their sins. And then they were what? Come on. They were baptized by John in the River Jordan. Everybody say, baptized by John in the River Jordan. Come on, get with me this morning. You thought I was going to let you sleep, didn't you? No, sir. But he was baptized. And, you know, that is such a moment there. But I just want you to come with me. John, dressed in camel hair, leather belt around his waist, He's standing in the Jordan. Jesus is by the shore and is stepping out to, to John. And there's a moment there. And I just want to create this because this must have happened. He stands before John, Jesus. And there's a moment of silence. <coughs> Does anybody know why there was a moment of silence? You see, all that time, when everybody else came out to John, they would say, I am confessing my sins. And they would place their burdens before God, the places that they had messed up, and they fell short, and, and, and they just would leave it there. And then John would baptize them and bring them up out of the water. They were forgiven. Jesus stood before John. 
John was waiting. But you know what? Of course you know. Jesus had nothing to confess. He who is without sin was standing there. The one that had no sin was there. I want to grab that theme for, for a second and bring it through. The one that had no sin became sin for us. He stood in the river in that moment. Oh, imagine all the, the sin that was washed off of everyone in the river Jordan. I wonder if in that moment is, is there something in that moment there that impacts us, that in that moment, I wonder if in his mind he said, I'll take it all, Lord. Father, I'll take it all. All the sin, I'll take it all. We could spend a considerable amount of time talking about that very moment. Because you know what? When he was standing in that water, it was preparation for the cross where he bore our sins. And it wasn't just for the people living then, but it was for you and I today. It was from the moment you got up this morning to the moment we are right now. He bore our sins. He, he took them on to Himself. He wore the garment of shame. He became cursed so that we would be blessed. I, I hope I'm creating a wow moment there. A wow moment. He stood before Him. And in that moment there was a silence. Not an awkward silence but just a, a silence of the ages. Jesus knew what He was doing. He knew what He was doing. And so He was baptized by John in the river Jordan. We could spend a lot of time in these moments. When He came up out of the water, there's another moment here that we could spend. The Spirit comes down in the form of a dove and, and sets upon him. I want you to, you know, every time that the Spirit came in the Old Testament, there would be times that the Spirit would come and the Spirit would go. And then with somebody else, the Spirit would come and then the Spirit would go. But with Jesus, it came and it never left. We could spend a lot of time in that moment. But where should we go? Where should we go? Then John seen something fantastic. The heavens opened up and a voice from heaven said, This is my son. I'm sure he was an overlander. <laughs> <laughs> my sonny boy. <coughs> Oh, in who? And it just doesn't stop there. That would have been enough. It didn't stop. He said, in whom I am well pleased. He spoke identity into his son. He spoke identity into his son. You know, as parents, the most valuable gift that we can give our children is to speak identity into them. I can remember when my, my children were born and I picked them up and I started singing to them and then I started praying over them. And, and you know, I, I tell them this all the time. I, I started praying for the people that God had planned for them. Last night, little side story. Rebecca, don't hear this. <laughs> Rebecca said to me last night, she said, Dad, I'm officially dating. 
I said, oh, really? But I just thought in that moment, you know, we get little treasures like this along the journey, you and I. Speaking identity into our children. And it don't matter, listen to me. It don't matter how old your children are, you can spill, still speak identity into their lives. It's simple. God did it. Jesus was 33. And God did it for him. Spoke identity into his boy. This is my boy in whom I am well pleased. Boys, how many, how many children are waiting for the parents to say that? How many of us, how many of us want to hear our own parents say that to us? You know, it's such a moment we could spend there. In this very moment. That moment of identity. He said, this is my boy. This is my boy. In whom I am well pleased. Let us pray. Father, the, the identity that you speak to us this morning... The identity, and, and Father, may they hear your words from your scriptures, speaking to them personally. You are my child. In you, I am well pleased. Amen. Let us stand and affirm our faith on page 189. Let us confess the faith of our baptism as we say, I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. You may kneel or stand or sit for the prayers of the people. <laughs> prayers of the people this morning are found on page 120, litany number 13. In joy and humility, let us pray to the creator of the universe, saying, Lord, grant us peace. We pray to you, Lord, for the Anglican communities of this world. In the worldwide Anglican cycle of prayer, we pray for Langtang, Nigeria, and the bishop, the Right Reverend Stanley Fum. In the provincial prayer care ecclesiastical province of Canada, Lord, we pray for the uh, the Diocese of Nova Scotia, Prince Edward Island, and Bishop Ron Cutler. In the Newfoundland Chai Diocesan Cycle of Prayer, we pray for the Cathedral of St. John the Evangelist, Corner Brook, the Dean and Rector, the Very Reverend Baxter Park, the Assistants, the Most Reverend Stuart Payne, and the Venerable John Mead. In the parish of Gander Bay, we pray for Rector Gerald Giles and his churches in Boyd's Cove, Baytona, and Gander Bay. And we also pray for our own rector, Reverend Robin, and our deacon, Reverend Sheila. 
We pray, O oh Lord, for the peace of this world. As we turn on the TV and witness horrible acts of mistrust and anger and terrible things that we never could have imagined, O oh Lord, we pray for all those who have suffered. We pray for all those who have such evil and brutality and corruption <laughs> in their hearts. We pray for healing of their hearts, Lord. Bring us all into communion with you and heal us all of whatever evil lurks within us. Give us peace in our hearts, peace in our homes, and that loving, divine peace over all the earth for which you sent your Son to die among us some 2,000 years ago. Lord, we pray for all those who are sick, And we remember, we remember especially this morning, Charlene, Reverend Robin and his family, Inez, Lillian, Michael, and David Rose. And we pray for the loved ones of all who have died remembering especially the family of Reverend Robin. Comfort them, Lord, in their sorrow. Strengthen them in their faith and create within their family circle ever closer ties to each other and to you. By the good news of our salvation brought to Mary by the angel, hear us, O Lord. The Lord grant us peace. By the mystery of the Word made flesh, hear us, O Lord. The Lord grant us peace. By the birth in time of the timeless Son of God, hear us, O Lord. The Lord grant us peace. By the manifestation of the King of Glory to the shepherds and Magi, hear us, O Lord. The Lord grant us peace. By the submission of the Maker of the world to Mary and Joseph of Nazareth, hear us, O Lord. Lord, grant us peace. By the baptism which we celebrate today of the Son of God in the River Jordan, hear us, O Lord. Lord, grant us peace. Grant that the kingdoms of this world may become the kingdoms of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, hear us, O Lord. Lord, grant us peace. Amen. Confession is found on page 191. Dear friends in Christ, God is steadfast in love, infinite in mercy, and welcomes sinners and invites them to his table. Let us confess our sins, confident in God's forgiveness. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in God's word and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved our neighbor the whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness and bring you to eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. <laughs> Would you please stand with me? <laughs> the peace of the Lord be always with you. Also with you. Would you share the peace of Christ with those around you?
our offertory hymn is 704. is found in our bulletin and we pray together God of life and freedom we celebrate the revelation of Jesus as the Christ who makes all creation new accept all we offer you this day and make us new in him who is the Lord forever and ever Amen The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. We give you thanks and praise, Almighty God, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Redeemer. He is your living Word through whom you have created all things. By the power of the Holy Spirit, He took flesh of the Virgin Mary to share our human nature. He lived and died as one of us to reconcile us to you, the God and Father of all. In fulfillment of your will, he stretched out his hands in suffering to bring a release to those who placed their hope in you. And so he won for you a holy people. 
He chose to bear our griefs and sorrows and to give up his life on the cross that he might shatter the chains of evil and death and banish the darkness of sin and despair. By his resurrection, he brings us into the light of your presence. Now with all creation, we raise our voices to proclaim the glory of your name. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Holy and gracious God, accept our praise. Through your Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, who on the night that he was handed over to suffering and death, took bread, and gave you thanks, saying, Take it, eat. This is my body which is broken for you. In the same way, he took the cup, saying, This is my blood which is shed for you. When you do this, you do it in memory of me. Remembering, therefore, his death and resurrection, we offer you this bread and this cup, giving thanks that you have made us worthy to be in your presence and serve you. We ask you to send the Holy Spirit upon the offering of your holy church. Gather into one all who share in these sacred mysteries, filling them with the Holy Spirit, confirming their faith in the truth, that together we may praise you and give you glory through your servant Jesus Christ. All glory and honor are yours, Father and Son with the Holy Spirit in the holy church, now and forever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. We break the bread of life, and that life is the light of the world. God, hear on us, light in the midst of us, bring us to light and life. The gifts of God are given for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Amen.
that's found in your bulletin. And we pray together, Gracious God, lover of all, by this sacrament you made us one family in Christ your Son, one in the sharing of His body and blood, one in the communion of His Spirit. Help us to grow in love for one another and come to the full maturity of the body of Christ. We ask this in His name. Amen. And now may the peace of God that passes all human understanding keep your heart and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of His Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, and the blessing of Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always and those whom you love forever and ever. Amen. Our closing hymn today is 485.